Welcome to a new video here on the Giant Take Podcast YouTube channel. In this video, you can tell by the title, we talk about the most recent GM news regarding the two GMs or the, the two potential GM candidates uh, that are coming in to the Giants organization and having a second interview. Uh, this is from our most recent episode of the Giant Take Podcast, where you can find everywhere. For right now, enjoy. Job. All right, let's go into the New York Giants news. We talk about the final candidates, the two candidates that are going to come in for a second interview in the next uh, few days. And I would say, Alex, well, I I would say right now, but I know you said it originally last night uh, when we were talking about what we're going to do for the podcast today, that the uh, GM decision will most likely come by the end of this week. And looks like your uh, assumptions might be correct as uh, that looks to be the case. All right, so let's uh, get into this. The New York Giants have completed interviews with all nine initial candidates. They finished that yesterday, uh, you know, completing two more interviews. And Joe Shane, Bill's assistant general manager, made it into the second round of interviews for Giant for the Giants GM job. Um, he was the first of nine to be interviewed in the all remote first round and is considered a very strong candidate, even since his first interview. And I don't know if it was because he was the first interview or that's just how timing worked out. But ever since like he was announced as going to be interviewing for the Giants, he has been the strong, you know, choice or whatever. Strong choice by the fans. Like a lot of people like him. Same thing with like NFL insiders and journalists. But also what people have been saying, journalist wise, you know, people with the blue check mark on Twitter have been saying that um, Joe Shane has been the favorite uh, by the New York Giants organization themselves. So honestly, between us, Alex, and yeah, I would just say between us. We're not surprised uh, by this decision to bring him in for the uh, for the for the second set of interviews. And do you want to go into who is going to be the other GM candidate that's going going to go into a second set of interviews? Yes. Yeah, so Chiefs uh, Chiefs Executive Director of Player Personnel Ryan Poles is expected to have a second interview for the Giants GM job. Uh, it's expected to be tomorrow. Uh, whenever you're listening to this, uh, the 19th of January uh, is expected to be when he comes in for the interview. Uh, we don't know the exact timing or dates. And uh, uh, Joe Shane actually already came in for his interview this morning, uh, Tuesday, the 18th. So that's some exciting news. So he's already been interviewed twice now at this point. I think both of those guys are great candidates. I think either one will do a, a good job as GM, hopefully, and they'll definitely be an upgrade on Dave Gettleman. A couple other names I've heard that could come back. Uh, Joe Hordes, uh, Hordes uh, from the Ravens is definitely likely to come for a second interview as well as Adam Peters. Those two guys you may also see uh, within the matter of hours, days, whenever uh, from when this video has come out uh, or podcast episode since the uh, you might get new information about that. I think those two guys will be interviewed as well. So make sure to look out for that. And uh, hopefully while well, the decision, like you said, Josh end of the week, possibly Friday, I think what might be the day uh, where we get an unveiling for the new GM, if not Monday. Right. And and you mentioned it. You said, don't be surprised because uh, John Mara wanted to make it clear. This is not like the 2018 GM candidates. We're not going to only have four. We had nine and this is going to be a very thorough, you know, investigation. Uh, it's going to be very in-depth in who they're going to discuss. Search that, not uh, investigation makes it, it seem like joke. we're like uh, we're questioning these people. All right, all right, joke. all right. Come on, there's a little chuckle after that. Um, yes, it's going to be a very in-depth uh, search for the new GM of the New York Giants, and John Mara wanted to state that in his press conference, and I think in whatever he sent out about uh, when Dave Gettleman, you know, was allowed to retire. I want to say allowed because the Giants would have fired him otherwise. Um, but it, it's good to know. I think. Honestly, to me, the the thing that pull and it's not a definite, right? But the thing that pulls one away from the other is that it's an assistant GM, and Ryan Poles is an assistant GM. It isn't an assistant GM. Um, I I know Joe Shane is for the Buffalo Bills. He's he's been in that position for a while. Um, and Alex deleted what Ryan Poles is, so I can't tell you what he is. Uh, but there we go. Thank you, Alex. He's the player, the rec director of player personnel. This is like on multiple occasions now where you're deleting my info. So I appreciate that. Thanks so much. I'm Sarcasm. Sorry. And, <laughs> and, um, but yeah, I, I think it's, it's just better because we have a guy who knows what a GM does, uh, by being in that role for a few years. And 
also a big factor and it's not definite. Um, that's what I was going to. And then I said, what was definite was that he's an assistant GM. What's not definite is that if hired by the Giants for the GM position, Joe Shane's number one target will be Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator for the Buffalo Bills, to become the head coach per source. Uh, and that was by uh, reporter Bobby Thompson. He's an NFL reporter. So not the this is, this is an Ian Rappaport, but a lot of people have speculated and said, well, there's a connection there, right? If you're going to hire Joe Shane as a GM, you would think he looks after Bill, you know, looks at Bill's people first because he knows them for the head coaching position. And who else than Brian Dable, the guy who helped the Bills score 47 this weekend, right? Yeah, 47 points. 47 against yeah. the, the uh, New England Patriots. Perfect offensive performance. No punts. <laughs> wow, I didn't even know that stat. So I mean, no punts, no field goals. It was all touchdowns. And right, and as as Giants fans, we know we see a lot of Riley Dixon and Graham Gano on that football field. So maybe Brian Dable can fix that. But anyway, yes, like you said, Alex, two great candidates. I would say. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can use the word great. I know it's a strong word, but I could say two great candidates coming. And I think whoever we choose, they're on two good teams. These are two teams that are about to go into their divisional round. These aren't like. We're not interviewing someone from the Detroit Lions. No offense to them, but it's like these are successful teams and they have been successful for the last at least two or three years. So I think that's good. That I mean, that's what I have to say on that. Um, you got anything else? Yeah. And the uh, Chargers and Panthers are going to be interviewing our special teams coordinator, Thomas McGoffey. Um, so he will be going out, even though I think he'll be fired anyway when the new head coach comes in. Wow. So uh, that's pretty much it. Strong, for, uh, strong statement. When... Maybe he gets hired first. Who knows? Well, maybe. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But I think all the coordinators will probably be gone from the Joe Judge era. That'll just be my guess. 